So what's the condition, my naga? What it do? This is part three. Get parts one and two, man. We going in, man. No hijacks allowed. Yeah, you know I mean, no hijacks allowed. What does this figure symbolize, man? The condition and the fate. All right. So this is what happened to you, indigenous nagas. Then they came with the image. Because they knew you'd be so deeply wound up in it because it symbolizes your suffering right here in America. The copper color Naga found here, right? Let's go, man. We're making a dismount. And then we're going to, you know, get some great, some great drop, you know, digging on the creator. Hawa, you know, going into it, having a great time. Because we're making a victory lap, my Naga. We're going to do it for the framer, mama, and the shaper, papa, abba. We're going to do it for the ha the breath, and the wa, the security. Because our shaper gives us shape, right? So when we say 432, we talk about our vibration. When you talk about the word of Hawa, the word is a vibration. The vibration gives shape, right? Shape to otherwise amorphous substance. And mama, she, she got the ingredients, right? She's putting the meal together. This is wisdom. This is that Shekinah. So we got on our uh, high Amazon queens, man. We're talking about the framers, man. We're talking about our sisters that's putting everything together. That's when you talk Khalifa and Sheba. When you talk about Dawi, he's in the vibration, right? The shape he's giving. He's, he's been given shape by the shaper. And this is the flow that we can now, you know, really see the path that's connecting to us because we know we're not talking about no New Testament because even the... Even this father, Domenico Vicio, used their cliche names to refer to the God of the Old Testament. They made a marker right here for those that's able to see clear that there's a different God of the Old Testament and a different God of the New Test. And when you go in there, man, when you read, oh, Lord, Lord, you're not talking no longer about the framer and shaper. You're now talking about, <laughs> well, you put it together. Who's their guy? Right? <laughs> you put it together, my noggin. Hell who? Right, 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 right. Right, because this is their mighty name. Then on the flip side of the subject, we have the Greek god Zeus, who is a representation of the sun, right? Now we worship the sun. You think you're worshiping the sun, but you're worshiping the sun, who is the devil. We're talking the adversary because you're talking about the power that they are invading you with. And now they're giving you a what? Because he's known as the devil by the ancient ones. Oh, we got to go back in antiquity. That's when we start popping off, man. That's when we start popping off with the Papa Vu. He's known as the devil to the ancient ones. So that's not the God of the Old Testament, right? Who's calling it old and new? Somebody who's trying to hijack you. So he used their cliche names to refer the framer and the shaper, right? Because we're talking to not. Got it, got it. Because remember, man, remember, man, when it all said and done, you're talking about the journey. The old red land, right? You're talking about this Kitsukoto who wore a robe marked with crosses. Choose your Joshua. Kitsukoto attained the land of promise and his golden reign of ear. And in his golden reign of ear, wheat grew so large that one could hardly carry it. So he brought the food. He brought the corn. My knock. He brought the maize. We're talking Quetzal, right? But what's a Quetzal? Have you ever heard of a... <laughs> Have you ever heard of Quetzals, man? The Quetzal rainbow birds up in the cloud forest? What? I'm talking the cloud forest, man. I said we up in the clouds, man. We're talking about the rainbow birds in the clouds. So this Quetzal refers to this rainbow Kooto. We're talking dragon. The rainbow dragon. And this is a sign. This rainbow dragon in the sky. He's a sign, right? Let's go, man. We're connecting all of our Presters when we talk Prester Johns, Priest Kings. This is what we have, Israel. This is what we represent, my Nagas. We're talking Priest 
and kings. Remember, man, let's go back. What do the Mormons call Kitsukoto? They call him their Joshua, right? Except they blend it in with this Zeus because they too have to come in this power of Isus. Huh? I said Isus. Who? I said Isus. The J is a hijack. It just got invented in the 16th century. Isus is who we're talking about. Who? <laughs> I said, I said Isus is who we're talking about. Managa. Come out of the spell. Because it's all about breaking the magic spell. We got to come out the spell, my naga, in real time, man. We still got to come out the spell, man. Of this hove situation. This Jehovah situation, right? This is why they keep trying to put him in. Oh, Jehovah. No, we ain't talking no hoves over here, man. Their Isus has a long history, man. And if you don't look into the Caesar, who's also called the Christ, but just know that they worship Jupiter. If they worship Jupiter then, they're worshiping Jupiter now, my naga. And they're giving him a new name, right? E. Seuss, huh? Oh, my naga, we just coming on home. We just getting up out of it, man. Coming back to the power of the old, the ancient ones. The ancient ones. We're talking about the cloud force and the Kitsus and the Kitsukorus. All the birds, the lofty ones, right? Because they're Kitsu, they're lofty, they're making their Mashiach. Ah, but they're opening it wide up because they're letting you know that we're just talking about the Mashikan and the works of Ishila, Shila Kulotitla. <laughs> However, you want to say that. Oh, we're going to get some of this work, though. We're going to get some of this work because from his work, he's telling you that the Kitsu is a beautiful bird. And resplendent long green feathers and dainty crest. We're talking rainbow, right? Koolto, all right, is the Mexican for, they say serpent. We know we're talking dragon. Because there's a difference between a snake and a dragon. The Quetzal bird serpent or this rainbow dragon. Now what? Quetzal was the name applied to the new world god or the, what they made Joshua a god. Con, they made Joshua a god. Who was in the form of a man, bearded, white robe. Now, some say that he turned into a rainbow dragon. Managa. All right, a great teacher of moral principles. We're talking the law. The caudal serpent was the ancient symbol of Israel's Mashiach, the anointed one. So this is when you have this Moses. So caudal literally means raised serpent or raised dragon or lofty Lofty cloud, right? Lofty rainbow cloud dragon, right? Raised dragon. Let's go. Because back in the book of the beginnings, again, we're talking Joshua. Moses and Joshua conducted their people, they say, with the solar orb around the circle of signs. Overcoming the Toltec powers postulated by the early men. So in the Toltec mythology, Hawamak and Kitsukoto conducted their people through the pilgrimage and wanderings recorded in the picture or Picto writings. Hawamak, like Moses, wrote the code of the laws. Kitsukoto, in relation to Hawamak, plays the role of Joshua. And the Mormons are doing what, man? Oh, they're making Joshua Jesus, man. Oh, man, I mean, you know, you get into it, man. You get into the tree of life, right? And then we get into this hung on the tree business. Oh, since the Nephites had such a thorough knowledge of the Son of God and the gospel plan of salvation, it is not surprising to find that numerous teachings resemble the true gospel doctrines were found in the great abundance among the Indians. Oh, no, they got their reflection out of the drop that was already over here, man. So thus, Las Casas, a prominent Spanish Catholic Missionary concluded that the devil had arrived in America ahead of the Christians and implanted in their hearts and minds the native teachings akin to Christianity. Ah, uh, nah, my naga. When they get into their, when they get into their, let's get it from here. And when they were in the height of power, they arrived in the land whom they called a man whom they called Kitsukoto and others called Hawamak had great virtues.
This is what we're talking about, the virtue. 